This is a video highlighting the accomplishments of Be More 3 d in both Spain and Africa. I recently got the unique opportunity to speak with the CFO of Be More 3 d Jose Luis Puchades Valencia. I took some highlights from our conversation and included it in this video so that you get a better understanding of what they're doing. Yes, uh, we developed in the first step a little one, no? like two two meters from from long, no, or two more, more or less two meters, and we we prove it and and well, we construct it construct it in in the garage of one of our partners, Vicente, no, in, in Buñol. Yeah, cool. Uh, well, the company is focusing now in two areas. No, in the first one, it's to uh, well, fabricate, no, and develop and fabricate uh, machines, no, and improve it. And in other part, we we are looking for the selling of the materials, no, that we we can offer to the final client the the part of the uh, local material, no. Yeah, we think in. in the best in the best part no? it's cheaper to to develop one local with local materials no one one mix with our formula and we can certificate it with the university polytechnic of valencia that we work together in a lot of projects and and tests no and, and different proof of, of the materials and the 3d construction system as you can see in the time lapse above this printer simply prints in one thick line that's strong enough to support itself. This reduces the need for any rebar or steel supports. If you were building a bigger structure and needed more structural support than the material offers on its own, you could easily print the formwork for a column and insert rebar and pour concrete without the need for a formwork that would need to be installed and removed. Yeah, when the material have a polymeric fibers that is for the retraction for the material, and then in the part of the principal the part of the, the the union from the foundation and, and the and the uh, and the first sorry, layer and, and the yeah well yeah the first layer and the foundation and as well uh, the part of the of the roof no with the with the walls this uh, the connection of that uh, we are looking for for an architect that we develop a different uh, details no for situations for different situations that we can uh, pass the the normative of course this is a video of the first house ever printed in africa and it's using be more 3d's printer because it takes all day to print and the humidity is constantly changing throughout the day their printer has sensors that can adjust the water parameters as the day goes on in order to compensate for changes in humidity. It depends the quantity of water, it depends the principal from the temperature and the and the humidity you know, of the of the ambient. And then uh, one, one part in one tower not to take the, the PC or the screen you know, that can works uh, the machines because we have a software that can change some parameters uh, before the printing and during the printing. No? In the Spanish houses, we finished it with all the well, all the parts, no, the, the electricity, the weight, all all the things. But in Africa, I don't know if now it's finished mm -hmm. or it's only the walls, no, the structural walls that we printed and. In, in September, no? we are trying to to do a different actuations, no? a different building here in one one in Valencia, and a local rooms no? in Liria near from 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 us from Valencia. Another project in Barcelona, and, and another one if it goes well in Mallorca, no? in Balear Island. If you'd like to hear more from Jose Luis Puchades Valencia check out the full conversation that we had at the link in the description.